when we're looking at a function, we can also, uh, I want to also introduce you to some other terminology. One is called a relative minimum or a relative maximum. And I'll introduce local here in a second. But basically, anywhere where the graph turns and changes directions, at that point, it's either a relative minimum or a relative maximum. Meaning that in a small area, that's the lowest spot, spot that that graph goes. So if I were to focus in on that little spot, this little square right here, like I zoomed in, I can see that the graph changes its direction right there at zero, zero. So this point compared to its point to the left or the right, I see that that point is a low point. It's a relative minimum, not the minimum of the entire graph, because obviously that happens way down here, but it just in that local area, I have a relative minimum. Can you see if this graph also has a relative maximum? Meaning that, does the graph change direction somewhere else? Yes, it does. Changes directions in that spot right there. And within that area, I can see that I have a high point relative to the points near to it. So we would call that a relative maximum. And then you'll see in some textbooks and some other instructors and, and teachers will use a local. There's a local minimum or a local maximum. Uh, in those particular areas.